welcome to the seventh match of the 2024 high team season. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Britt, I'm your quiz master. Today's match features students from Blunt, St. Paul's, and Mary G. Montgomery. The questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the best and equally challenging. Here's how the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. Correct answer of first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less one. If the team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams up here can gain one point for the correct answer, and I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. So it's, start, it's time to start our competition, and we always start with some questions in current events. So teams with luck score a lot of points. Start with our home team, Mary Jean Montgomery in this case. Here's your question. Give me the first and last name of the U.S. Secretary of State. Anthony Blinken. Correct. Four points. Good job. <laughs> St. Paul's. Frida, a documentary about the legendary Mexican painter is set to premiere at the 2024 Sundance Festival. Give that artist's last name. I love right, four points. Very good. <laughs> but, your question for us. Give me the last name of the former president of Harvard who resigned over the backlash of her comments about anti-Semitism on Harvard's campus. Uh, Jackson. Try again. Smith. Try again. Uh, Wilson. Try again. Bennett. No, nope. teams wait for the buzzer if you like to answer. Then GM buzzed in too early. St. Paul's. How did he get? Right. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Topic is American history now. Back to the <laughs> yeah. Give the name of the last of the 13 colonies founded in 1733. Georgia? Yes, four points, correct. There you go. <laughs> St. Paul's. Give me the last name of the Portuguese explorer who in 1498 finally reached India and returned with a small cargo of jewels and spices. Big arm. Yes, that's right. Go for it. I'll stay with that. Now what? Give the full name of the wife of a Revolutionary War leader and future president who was among the first Americans to see, however faintly, the implications of revolutionary ideas for changing the status of women. Thank you. Andrew Jackson. Try again. That's. St. Paul's. Washington. No. Sir G. Adams. It only means a full name. Abigail Adams. Abigail Adams, who should be. No point, sorry. Biology's the topic. Back to Mary G. Prokaryotic cells divide in two stages. During the first stage, the nucleic acids, DNA or RNA, are copied. Name the second stage during which the cell pinches into two daughter cells. Mitosis. Try it. The stages of mitosis. Try it. The B. Metaphase. No. St. Paul's. Cytokinesis? No. What? Meiosis? No. Binary fission. St. Paul's. Name the type of cell division that results in somatic daughter cells. Meiosis? Try again. Mitosis? Yes, mitosis. Well, good points. <laughs> and what? During mitosis, name what gets synthesized during the S phase of interphase. 
chromosomes? Try again. Yes, chromosomes, actually, we can take that. Four points. DNA or chromosomes. There you go. That's an alternate answer. All right, time for sports. That's right, time for sports. That means teams can send your buzzers. First team push the buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer. And here's a question in sports. This multi-purpose domed stadium located in St. Petersburg, Florida has been the ballpark of the Tampa Bay Rays since the team's inaugural season in 1998. The stadium is the only non-retractable domed stadium in Major League Baseball. Give the name of this venue. That was a good thing of it. Hey, St. Paul's. Uh, St. Petersburg, no. Nope, sorry. <laughs> oh, Tropicana Field. Tropicana Field. No points on that sports cost. Literature's next. Mary G. In Tony K. Bambera's short story titled The Lesson, there is a glass object for sale at the toy store that children visit with a woman from their neighborhood. Identify the name of this object, which is priced at $480. Paperweight? That's right, four points, correct. <laughs> Two points. In Zora Neale Hurston short story titled The Back Room, identify the occupation of Lilia's longtime boyfriend who traveled to visit her. Sailor? Try again. Mechanic, try again. Mailman? Try again. Nope. Team Twig, the buzzer, if you'd like to answer only four answers. Hey, blood. Armor? No. Mary G. No. He was a lawyer. A lawyer, of course. Blunt. In the short story titled The Growing Stone by Albert Camus, when Monsieur Darast traveled out of town to work on a bridge, give the one word name of his hired driver, which also happens to be the name of a famous philosopher. David. Try again. John. Try again. Yes. Socrates. Socrates is the name of that famous philosopher. Right. Very good. Work All right. We're going to change things up now. We're going to ask some questions in math. So teams, math, everybody gets a copy of every question for possible bonus points. Ready? First question goes to Mary G. Montgomery. Everyone open your yellow math envelopes now. A tub is one-third full. After adding 100 liters of water, the tub is now half full. How many liters of water can the tub hold? Do you light him? We will nope. try that. This year, 300 liters? Try that. Thirty seconds left to give two answers. Two hundred and sixty six. Six hundred liters. That's right. Six hundred liters, one point from very good government. All right, next math question goes to St. Paul's. I'm going to open your red math envelope, please. Solve for x, log base root 5 of 25 equals x. St. Paul's will have a minute to give four possible answers. Four. 
That's correct. correct. Very good. Four points. Right, next math question goes to Blunt. Everyone open your blue half envelopes. Assume h of x equals 25 to the x power plus 2. Find h of 3 halves. All algebra questions. Thirty seconds left. Seconds. Thirty-nine point five. Try it. Forty. Try it. Forty-five. Try it. Say false. One hundred twenty-seven. That's correct. One hundred twenty-seven. Okay. 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 We we'll turn to fifteen-second questions now. Topic is Shakespeare. Mary G. In Act Two of Antony and Cleopatra. The triumvirs arrive at their conference separately, each with his officers. Lysanus is one of two officers who arrives with Caesar, named the other. Anthony. Right. This. Right. Mark. Yeah. If you want to buzz in with an answer, say false. Mark Anthony? No. What? No. The answer is Agrippa. Say false. In Act Two of The Merry Wives of Windsor, Mistress Page and Mistress Ford agree to reply to Falstaff's disgusting letters using a particular messenger. Identify that character. Horatio, try that. Polonius, try that. Horatio or Blunt? No. It was Mr. Squickly. Blunt. In Act Two of Richard II, Lord Willoughby and Lord Ross mention that the king has lost the hearts of commoners. State the measures taken by Richard that cost him their support. Butcher, try it. Taxing? Yes, three points. Taxation, very good. <laughs> Topic is geography. To very human governance. This sea borders Iceland on the east and Norway on the west. Give the name of the sea. The Baltic Sea? Try again. North Sea? Try again. Norwegian Sea? Yes, the Norwegian Sea is right. Two points. <laughs> St. Paul's. Give the name of the capital and the largest city in Greece. Athens. Athens is right. Four points. <laughs> and what? Give the name of this country, which is the largest in Europe, bordering 14 other countries. Russia. Russia is right. Four points for Blunt. Very good. All right, we are halfway through our competition. Blunt has 11 points. Marriage in Montgomery has 15. St. Paul's is in the league with 22 points. Since 1950, New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members throughout their lives. From buying their first home, to starting a family, to providing them with the most competitive rates available, helping them along their journey wherever the road may take them. At New Horizons Credit Union, we've been supporting families around the Gulf Coast for over 70 years, offering solutions for the real world. Visit newhcu.org to learn more about New Horizons Credit Union. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Ayla, hi. Oh, hi, Sierra. How are you? Good. How are things? Things couldn't be better. What do you mean? Well, I just started this new job as a school teacher with the Mobile County Public Schools, and it has been a life changer. Great benefits, the hours are great, and great students. Just the overall, it's a great opportunity. Oh, wow. That sounds great. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. You should. For more information, visit mcpss.com slash job opportunities. Topic that was chemistry. Back to Mary's recovery. Give the term used to describe a type of bonding in which a bonding pair of electrons is spread over a number of atoms rather than being shared by just two. Cobain bond? Try that. Ion and bond? Try that. Molecular bond? Try that. St. Paul's. Residence? No. What? Hydrogen? No. Delocalized. St. Paul's. State the name of the amino acid which has a three letter shorthand notation of MET. Methylene? Try that. Methanine. Try that. What was your second answer? Methanine. Methanine. Spell it. Oh, M E T A L Y N E. No, sorry. Who busted? Oh, Barrett G. You did. Oh, Barrett. Yeah, okay, cook it. Methane. No. What? Methanine. No, that I am. I am the voice. What? State the approximate distance in picometers where the radial probability reaches a maximum in terms of being able to locate an electron orbiting a hydrogen atom. It's a pain, it would. Um, oh, 52. Try again. Uh, 500. Again. 300, Again. 200. Nope. Keeps weight for the buzzer. Do you want to ask What? No. Mary G. Go ahead. Point one. No. 50. Display the old 50. No points on that. Sorry. Our history is the topic. Mary G. This golden age of art, literature, and philosophy in Greece occurred between 480 and 323 BC. Give the name that refers to this period in Greek history. Then my Try again. 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 St. Paul's, known to be one of the most important burial sites of the New Kingdom, a royal cemetery was established here in 1560 BC. Give the name of this location. The National Cathedral. I get. Gay marriage of Montgomery or what? Gay marriage? Aiden? No. What? It was the Valley of the Kings. It's a great answer. What? Your question. The animal painting at Moscow is a supreme example of Paleolithic art. One scholar compared this site to this famous Renaissance chapel. Get the name of the famous chapel, the Lusco. Cave paintings were compared to. Five seconds. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, Mary G. Buzz is too early. St. Paul's. No, sorry, Mary G. 
The Sistine Chapel? That's right, the Sistine Chapel is correct. One point two. All right, Team Choice is next. Before the match began, each team chose the topic it wanted to be quizzed on. Four points for a correct answer. The twist in Team Choice is there's only one answer per team. So teams, I say, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, buzz immediately, and you'll get two points instead of just one. So Mary T. Montgomery, you chose a question in American history. One answer, please, here's your question. Give the name of the influential publication written in 1776 by the radical Thomas Paine. Common sense. Four points, correct. Very good. St. Paul's, you chose geography, again, a reminder, one answer. Give the name of the capital city located in north-central Ukraine, which lies along the Dnieper River. Yep. Correct, four points. For T, either one. What, you chose literature, one answer. In Tony K. Bambera's short story titled, Gorilla My Love, Hazel loved going to the movies with her friends and her baby brother. Give the name of her baby brother. Jason. Jason is right. Four points for that. Very good. All right, time for our second toss of the match. So teams hang up your buzzer. First team pushes the buzzer into first. It's in Shakespeare. Here's the question. In Act 5 of Richard II, the Earl of Northumberland reports to King Henry that he has sent to London the heads of certain rebel leaders. Give the number of heads he names. What? Five. No, nope, sorry. Mary G. No. Paul. Three. No, two were, two were close. It was four. Four was the answer we did so far. Topic is physics, back to a regular category now. If we can reset the physics now to Mary Key. State the name given to the unit equivalent to one Coulomb per second. Watt. Try again. Joule. Try again. Do St. Paul's. The right, very good. One point for St. Paul's. Thank you. Okay, St. Paul's, this is your question in physics. State the name given to the lowest possible temperature at which the atoms of a substance have their minimum kinetic energy. Absolute zero. Four points, correct. Look. <laughs> State the name given to an object's quantity of motion found from the product of an object's mass and velocity. Velocity. Try again. Uh, speed. Try again. Big balls. Kinetic energy. No. Very true. Momentum. Momentum is right. What point would it be? American government is our topic. Back to our community. Give the term for a tax laid on the manufacture, sale, or consumption of goods and or the performance of service. Sales tax? Oh, yeah. Service tax? Oh, yeah. Image address? Try again. Can you say Paul's or blunt? The answer? No, it's excise tax. Excise. Say Paul's. Give the term for the benefits that federal law says must be paid to all those who meet the eligibility requirements, such as being at a certain age or income level. Examples of these are old age, survivors and disability insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps, unemployment compensation, and veterans' pensions. Social Security. Try again. Medicare. Try again. Medicaid. Try again. Disability. Try again. Nope, that's it. You wait for the buffer to answer. 
Mary Jean. Nominate A. No. What? All those things I mentioned are entitlements. Entitlements. Oh, boys. One. Give the term for the large, complex administrative structure that handles the everyday business of an organization. Management? Try it. Executive? Try it. Say false. A firm? No. An agency? No. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. No points. Rural history. To Mary Jean Montgomery. Give the name of the canal that opened in 1869, running through Egypt, and connected the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. Suez Canal. Correct. Four points. Say <laughs> Paul's. In the 1890s, a movement developed because of a long history of exile and persecution that worked to reestablish the ancient homeland for Jews. Diaspora? Try again. Progressive error? Try again. Very deep. The Zionist movement? Yes, the Zionist movement. Right. Very good. Four. What? Give the name of the Polynesian people who had settled in New Zealand around 800 AD. Their culture was based on farming, hunting, and fishing. Five seconds. It falls. The Kiwis? No. Ergie? Have a long. Nope. Maori. Maori. Oh, yes. All right. Down to the last question in today's contest is a math toss up. So you have 60 seconds. Everyone open your white math envelopes now. If theta is between 0 and 90 degrees and secant theta equals 2, find the sine of theta. Squirt. Uh, 45. Sorry. So, score today, blood with 15, Mary to Montgomery 26, today's winner, St. Paul's, 35 points. Congratulations.